guys. Even walking up the stairs is a lot for me to handle, RN. Oh my god, I'm so happy to see you guys again. I feel like it's literally been forever, forever and ever, but we've only taken a week off. <sighs> okay, Eddie. How about you just catch your breath, right? Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing today? It is a gorgeous, gorgeous sunny day today. It's the day of the week that everybody's been waiting for in the UK. We've got that massive heat wave of like 20 degrees up and down the UK, I think. Or at least where we are anyway. And it just feels like summer is here, angels. Do you know what I mean? You guys should see my outfit today. I'm such a summer queen, as much as I can be when I am six months pregnant today we have a very fun video because um it's our 40 scan today now we've been waiting for this day for a really really long time i feel like my pregnancy is just absolutely flying by in the blink of an eye i am 25 weeks pregnant so i'm in my 26th week of pregnancy and i remember when I was like 16 weeks pregnant and thinking, oh my God, that feels so far away. Just like now I look at 36 weeks pregnant, which is basically like the baby could arrive at that point and it feels like so far away, but it's just absolutely zooming past. And we booked this 4D scan ages ago. So literally like right at the start of the year because we really wanted something to look forward to. And I just can't believe the day is here. It is a bit early for 4D scans, I think. We were told that like, it might be better to wait just an extra two or three weeks to get a couple of better images but you guys know us we are so impatient and i just really cannot wait to see what our sun looks like today my belly i'm gonna give you guys a bit of a belly update in a second but oh my god guys my belly button has been so itchy the last 48 hours apparently it means that my skin is stretching which means that the baby's growing which is good but yeah itchy tummy is a thing right now anyway ignore the mess behind me but here we are she's pregnant honey you know what i mean i am literally just about still squeezing into these shorts this outfit is actually from um free people which is one of my favorite brands for summertime i bought this one last year and i'm pretty sure this is a s extra small because free people stuff is really quite oversized and uh yeah i put it on this morning and i was like can i make this work and um to be honest, we're just gonna roll with it, you know? But yeah, look how big the bump is getting. This is the look today. <laughs> I still got to get over my tummy, you know, when I catch myself in the mirror like that. Should we unbutton this a little bit, make it pop off the shoulders? It's all about the styling, babe. Here we go. Free people set, new summer bag that I'm obsessed with from a brand called, I don't know how to say it, Low, Low Air, Low. And then my new Zara, um, flip flop sandals that I'm not gonna hover on too long because as we all know salons have not been open for months and these toes need a pedicure but yeah I'm feeling good I'm feeling happy today my new sunnies on um I do have the black ones that I bought last summer actually when we went to Ibiza these are the Tom Ford ones and I literally have had my eyes on these ever since I first bought the black ones so I thought recently I'm just gonna treat myself these are like the tortoise shell ones and I really really like them I've got some glam on today I literally haven't put makeup on god I just feel like I need to I just feel like I need to just vent to you guys like about everything it's been so weird not vlogging for a week seriously like I have so much to catch you guys up on I don't even know like what you guys know and don't know at this point because I just missed you you know I don't know if you guys have seen our new um, I don't really know what to call this con. Kitchen area. Kitchen living area. Table. Well, yeah, obviously it's a table, <laughs> but she's all done and it looks great. I'll tell you what, Brandon Jane Darby. What? And the angels. We have to go leave because we need to go see our son for the first time. I know. Are you ready? It, well, it's not for the first time, Con, but we're figuring out what he looks like finally, aren't we? Do you, do you reckon it's gonna look like? Well, can I just tell you guys something? In, was it the 20 week scan with the NHS con? Where we saw his little lips? I guess it would have been, yeah. I think it was. I don't know what happened with the technology that this midwife was using. But it turned into so, a 4D scan. It basically turned into a 4D scan. Oh, it didn't really, but I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Like, we were just... We were just having our normal ultrasound. It went 4D. And she was doing like all of the really big measurements, obviously on that scan, you get everything measured. Like even this little bladder, like you could see his bladder was full. It just, 
just blows so my mind. Bizarre. Anyway, so she was like doing all of his brain measurements and then she showed us like what she could of his face, but obviously in a normal ultrasound, you can't really see much. You kind of just see like the outline of their nose and stuff. There was a moment, that was about 10 seconds, where she was like, like this was literally his face, like he was face on to the scanner. And you could see from the bottom of his nose to his chin. And I swear, I swear you could see like chunky lips and his little nostrils and they look so cute. And then we asked her if she could go back to that so we could get a picture of it and take it home. And she did and it just wasn't the same, was it, Con? It just, nah. those 10 seconds where she wasn't like, not filming, but like taking pictures and stuff just hit different. And then she went to get a picture and it just wasn't the same. Anyway, we're really, really excited. And from what we've seen, we think he's gonna look like me today. Who knows? Literally, who knows? And I don't even know at this point, like if he's gonna look very similar to how he's gonna look when he is born. Cause he's still got a good few weeks. He's got three months of growing and getting chunky to do. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this cause I really love it and ignore the computer mess on there. We had a um, big photo shoot for Angel Collection yesterday. So Connor is just still unpacking all of his oh, dumping, bits. These Don't mind me just scoffing a cookie, guys. Home Check gym. This out. Update. You're gonna get some sick selfies in there, aren't you, boo? <laughs> yeah, and little boy. He'll be watching me in his little snooze pod. Rolling around like this. <laughs> Some Mama Roo chat. Mama Roo chat. Snooze pod is the thing that goes no. next to our bed. Then it's Mama Roo chat, and I'll be listening to Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> no, While I'm lifting weights. Oh, I absolutely love them, babes. They look pretty cool, right? Yeah, they look really cool. What, what are they going to go on? Or have we not decided yet? Uh, we haven't decided yet. Going to see on the lighting, aren't we? But yeah, yeah, update, guys. Can you actually believe we cleared out this whole garage? Can you actually believe that? I can. If you guys can remember what it looked like, comment below. You must be a real angel OG. Because I think we've only showed it once on one vlog, like halfway through the vlog. Yeah, that embarrassed. Yeah. Light fittings. Spot by. Like now, I'm over the moon these days, but they're actually very well priced. But yeah, Connor wants to do, well, Connor is doing, he's in the midst of doing I'm a about big to make Swift gym. Um, home gym transformation video. So if you guys are interested in on this journey of transforming our garage into a gym, then watch out, because DIY con's about. I am literally a DIY thing. 11, 11 guys, we've just got in the car. Make a wish. What are we wishing for? I wish for that baby boy looks like both his mum and his dad has the best of both worlds. Has my luscious curly long locks <laughs> and his mum's beautiful smile <laughs> and blue eyes. Oh my god! You find out his eye colour today? No, can't. No, you can no. open his eyes. You said honestly, some of the questions. You said you could, he could open his eyes. He can open his eyes, but that doesn't mean that his eye colour is determined right now. Do you know thought, it can no, take no, 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 up no, no, to no. six months after birth? To determine what their official I thought you is. said all of his genetics is deter determined yes, it is. on conception. conception. Yes, it is. It is. Wow, well, then. No, but it can't. Right now, his eye colour could still change. Maybe. But, like, only to what it was always determined to be. A bit like fate, you know? Like, we were always meant to be. Yeah. You know? Like, whichever laugh, laugh? Whichever path. life path we chose, we yeah. would always end up together. Exactly. Wow, I, I can't miss vlogging. Tempt fate. No. Is that the right word to say? You haven't you missed vlogging so much? I love vlogging. Hasn't it been so weird not vlogging? It feels like we haven't done anything, but we also have done everything. Yeah, come on then, Con. Let's catch everybody up, shall we? Wow. Well, so, if you just think we've been lazy and taken a week off, right? Uh -uh. That's not the case, honey. Um, last week, a week ago yesterday, was the anniversary of my mum, the one year. So, I just thought, you know what? Every year, obviously around that point, I am gonna take some time out. And um, obviously with me being pregnant as well, I don't know guys, it has just like put me in a bit of a mind set or a mental state that I've never really been in before. And I guess it's because like now I know we have our baby arriving, but there is this part of me that is kind of growing just to want to be a bit more 
um, not private about things at all because you know we love letting you into every single aspect of every single part of our life um, to like huge depths but I guess it's just important for me to really protect myself and my mental state and my energy and obviously we have been in a lockdown and there's been so much stuff going on and sometimes during pregnancy when I'm not feeling 100% that does mean just like stepping back from socials a little bit probably just because I'm like 10 times more emotional now and I, I was always before anyway but yeah um I guess like this lockdown especially and being pregnant and my mum's anniversary has just all taught me what is really important in life and what comes first as obviously our gorgeous son and making sure that I am okay and if that means having a few days off of social media then that's exactly what it is you know we had a big photo shoot for Angel Collection as I just told you guys that went really really well we have the most incredible collection I'm gonna say my favorite ever collection that Angel Collection has ever done launching on the 14th of april we're doing new things i'm gonna like probably properly speak about it in a vlog maybe next week and maybe do like a bit of a try on haul for you guys and stuff but oh guys i just can't even explain how nice this stuff is we've tried to sit down and watch a movie every single day but we failed miserably each time because yeah happen to do something or we just like there's always something to do there's always something to do like we said, oh yeah, we're gonna have a week off of doing everything this week and we're gonna, like, I don't know about anybody else, but Connor and my idea of like, having a lazy day and really relaxing is watching a movie at like a one o'clock in the afternoon. movie has to be on by two o'clock. Yeah. Otherwise it's not a lazy day. Yeah. And that's I mean? just what we do, you know? Like that's our idea of like really chilling out. You just put on a movie in the morning or in the afternoon, like not when you sit down in the evening after a full day of work. And every day last week that was our goal and we still didn't do it and i don't even know how we didn't oh, no. i don't even know how do you know what it is it's because we get carried away with our dog walk right dog walk of the day has obviously been like all we've been able to do and we like to just take our time with it on the dog walks and then we've got a bit of cleaning to do when we get back and then i've got to hang out the washing and there's always just a little bit of work yeah do, there's just often. always and something just leave them the same cows and then elsa like take a photo of me yeah and by, you know by the time it's six o'clock and i'm making dinner yeah and then we're like what happened to moana at 2 p.m in the afternoon today? yeah and now and now we're in bed where are you going to sleep at 9 p.m at 9 p.m connor has actually been joining me in bed at like 9 p.m pregnancy bedtime now and i'm absolutely loving it are you loving it yeah I, my it's lovely yeah it is lovely like going to bed so early i do often just sit there though for an extra hour watching tiktok because <laughs> you do actually go to sleep at nine and i'm like a little <laughs> bit too early yeah but that's okay but you know quality time before the baby arrives exactly. can you believe there's only three months left of us like only just Connor and Ellie before we officially become mum and dad and baby boy. I feel like you've made the most of me for the last seven years, darling. I'm you? more than ready. <laughs> I've had enough of you. <laughs> you are literally not going to believe it. We are 10 minutes away from our scan appointment and this song came on and I don't ever think I've told you about this song but when we went for our appointment at eight weeks it pregnant proper, um, and it was like the one to check that he had a little obviously we don't know it was him at the point but just to check that the baby had a heartbeat and this song had is it called head and heart I yeah. don't know what it's called but it came on on the way to the scan or was it after when we were sat eating after. and we were like, oh my god, this is definitely the baby's song because it goes bum bum ba dum bum, like the beating of a heart. And we were like, oh my god, and the baby has a heartbeat. It just came on literally 10 minutes before we were about to go into our scan. And I just thought that's my son sending me a sign. <laughs> 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 The heart is beating away in the chest. That baby's little heart that's beating into your anterior placenta. This baby moving this baby's head, arm, fingers. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we need baby to turn the head upwards so that we can see baby from baby's face. Come on, baby. He's normally quite good, isn't he? He normally <laughs> yeah. gets in position. <laughs> 
He was sucking his thumb on the last one. Covering the face. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and letting us come back in like 10 minutes because guys you're not going to believe this currently he is breech so he's upside down and he literally had his hand in front of his face the whole time so they told me to go for a little walk for 10 minutes down this drink apparently that's going to help Whew. hopefully that'll move him around we've come back and hopefully all I'm asking, son, is that you move your hands, right? I'm not asking you to do cartwheels in there. It's literally right there. Just, it's literally there. And you can't see his All nose or his move his arm. Normally, you get the vibe of what the baby's going to Yeah, like. well, you can't even see his eyes. But we kind of saw, like, one eye, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, poking out. <sighs> going to do some so now I'm gonna sit squats. Here. Have I'm, a mini PT session. I'm going to sit here while what else? Does some uh, walking lunges. Do you, like, you know when I crack my back, do that. Like a split yeah. hair. Whoa. <laughs> Good one, honey. You turn that baby. You turn him. Right, we'll see you back in there, angels. Hopefully this time, we'll get to see the baby. Move your hand. Move, Move your, your hand. hand. Yeah? Let's see him. That's cute. This is for his little heartbeat to go in. I like the giraffe down here. Or the dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. Ready to hear his heartbeat? I can practice now. We'll play that Turby and Hector later and see what they make. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Is that still an arm in front of the face? It's there, but it's I think we're in luck. <gasps> oh, so you got a little bit. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so he's looking directly at you. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs>
hug with your dad, Herbie. Oh, it's because dad. Herbie. Who wants to hear their baby brother's heartbeat, guys? Sit Everyone down. sit. Herbie does. Sit. Ready? Oi. Oi. Oh my god, guys, I was literally just about to end the vlog and I completely realised we hadn't even spoken about the scan. Sorry, can you believe how rude of me that is? Who do you think it looks like? I don't know, it's so hard to say at the moment. I kind of still feel like it was a bit too early to really say what he looks you like. I don't want to say he looks like me. What are you talking you about? Like you. He looks like his dad. I think he definitely has got Connor's juicy lips. Look, we have the app. And this was all of the pictures. Look. We'll put it on the screen. Look at him. But yeah, that's his heartbeat. I do it's still think legs. it's a bit early to tell, really. Do you not think? <laughs> <laughs> but we have a, another one booked for about three or four weeks' time. And you can't wait. But thank God he showed his little face, so all of my squats and my little workout paid off. It was so magical, though, guys. I really cannot explain the feeling of, like, seeing his little face, finally. And... I don't know, like, it really does feel like yesterday that we were at a scans where he kind of just looked like a tiny little tadpole con. Doesn't that just feel like two minutes ago that there were, the, like, they, those were the scans? And now he now has a like big a hand and he has eyes and he has some juicy, gorgeous lips that I can't wait to smooch. I think, finally, that's going to go ahead and finish off the vlog because... We've just got home. I'm going to make up off. The sun is shining in the garden and it's so lovely out here. Is our son going to have his first BBQ tonight? Oh, that's a nice idea. But I can't bother to go to any shops. I so, no. We need to, we're at one of those annoying days in a week, guys, where we need to do a food shop and we literally just cannot be bothered. We didn't even we'll have milk off. this morning. Yeah, so we we'll couldn't even have a day, cup of tea. So, I popped to get some on the way back from the scan, but I just can't, no, I'm not going to the shop, I just can't be bothered, you know? No, we'll get a takeout. We'll get a takeout. I actually got us some carbonaras, Con, reminisce. Oh, I'll we'll have a carbonara view. Garlic yeah. bread? Yes, I've got garlic bread. Put it there, honey. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed uh, seeing our baby on our 4D scan. Make sure that we do like an updated version when we go back in a few weeks yes. time and we can like compare. I reckon then we'll be able to see exactly who he looks like but you <laughs> don't you think it's really crazy that at that point we'll be like 10 weeks away from meeting him don't you think that's oh really crazy God. really crazy can't even comprehend it <laughs> So our next video guys is going to be on Sunday and we have a really really exciting one because well, we are going to finally do his nursery oh reveal my God. that mum and dad have been working really hard, I've worked on. So hard on there. and um, it's looking gorgeous if I do say so myself so if you guys are excited for that make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching Angels and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Love ya. Mm -hmm.